Hello guys, what's up? That's the FI bitch again with you. So with very interesting video and that video is called Anti-Swapper Sweeper Bot. Anti-Sweeper Bot. Everybody is very like, you know, everybody is looking for it and a lot of people are failed to do it because they can't fight with hackers. But today I'm your gladiator. I'm going to share with you something which is really amazing and very interesting. So in that video, I will sh I will tell you that how to fight back with the uh, with the, the sweeper bots, okay? Like for example, if the hackers are active on your account and they are stealing all your fund, whatever fund is coming to your account and they are stealing all your funds. So today, let's sit back and let's watch this video till the end, okay? So this is really interesting and very informative video, okay? So most of you guys are very tired, very tired, very tired because you can't fight back them. Okay, so now the wait is over. Okay, so the wait is over. So in that uh, in that video, I will show you that how to fight back with the uh, with the sweeper bots. Okay, so first of all, you need your private node and create a pen ring transaction in Web3 and detect the ongoing and the uh, uh, the ongoing transaction and the upcoming transaction on your account to detect your guest pieces. Okay, and create create a logic to how to fight them okay so first of all you need a private node so you can get this from a hedgesner they are really good because they are like you know they are selling the dedicated servers to people and very trusted people okay i love them i love to work with them and uh, like you know uh, a, a lot of scripts uh, a lot of my scripts are on hedgesner so this is really interesting so you need a 128 gb ram server with the four ssd okay the core should be anything whatever you like but uh, if the hacker is active on your bsc so on your bsc chain a wallet like they are stealing from you on the BSC chain so you need to install the private node on a BSC and if the hacker is on your ethereum wallet so you need to install the private node of ethereum okay and after that just you have to create a simple logic a simple node logic uh, in a node.js so here is like you have to see that how to detect the pending transaction so first of all the pending transaction is the most important because after the nodes you have to create in this uh, in the script that uh, the pending transaction so in the pending transactions you have to detect that uh, right now let me just see that your address your address okay so whatever transaction is coming to your uh, address so detect the transaction fee stuff like that and whatever is going to so let's say or transaction from your address okay so first of all whatever transaction is coming to your uh, if some uh, if a transaction is coming to your wallet so your uh, script will like you have to create a logic and uh, in that logic you will have to detect if the transaction is coming if the transaction is coming to your wa wallet so let it receive once it is received just on the same block you have to do the same things okay once the uh, once the once the funds are coming to your account so you have to do the same because you have to detect the guest fees you have to detect the guest fees you have to pay the very low fee like very low fee on the upcoming uh, which is the upcoming like uh, uh, upcoming transaction to your address so you have to pay the low guest fee if there is uh, logic like you have to pay like you have uh, if if the upcoming transition is coming the pending script will detach the hash so you have to pay log gas fee to execute another transaction on the same block on the same block to send it to your wallet to your another wallet another wallet from where you are using the anti sweeper sweeper okay so first uh, so uh, if the upcoming transaction is coming so you the bo uh, the script will automatically detect its hash and you will pay a very low gas fee so the the another transaction will happen on the same block and it will directly goes to your wallet but for example if 
if still like the funds is uh, like in your account if it's going to another wallet so you, like you will have to detect again but in that scenario you will have to pay a very high gas fee okay so it will go it will goes to your another wallet okay so another thing is that so the script should pay a high gas fee or lower gas fee if the upcoming transaction is coming to your wallet so the gas fee should be low if the ongoing transition from your account the gas fee should be high okay so another thing is that that uh, uh, it will withdraw all your funds to your SAP account from where you are using your bot so it will uh, just like uh, transfer all your fund to a, uh, to your safe account okay so like you have to create a, such a logic like this and this is something like informative so you have to use this to detect the pending transaction and to create a logic on a node.js okay and to run it with your private node so it should be much more faster than like a cheaper node which the hackers are using okay hackers are mostly like you know they are using very cheap nodes like um, uh, because they are not just uh, watching on your account they are watching on multiple accounts so you have to be very careful to use a private node so it should be very faster and uh, it's a guaranteed script because suppose if you created something like this and so it should be very guaranteed because you know most of your transaction will go to your safe account so this is how you are gonna fight back with the sweeper bots so this is something interesting i need like uh, more than 100 views on my video and also i need uh, like um, let my subscriber reach to 50 subscriber so i will create uh, a video on it and i will create a proper logic stubs like that everything and i will execute the transactions and in that you will see that how i'm fighting back with the hackers so see you in the next video and please subscribe my channel thank you so much